This is CR Droid. This is an Android 10 ROM for POCO F1 and I've been using this for almost a week. In today's video I'll be sharing my thoughts about it. So without any further delay, let's get into the video. So this ROM is running on Android 10 and it's having the December security patch. But do note that I got the CR Droid 6.2 update. Hope that is getting the latest security patch. So you can expect all the basic features which are found on Android 10. Along with that you get few customization features which are found under the CR Droid setting. So that what makes this ROM different from others. So you can customize at the same time you will be having the stock Android experience. So if you are a guy who likes stock Android experience and if you are looking for some customization definitely try installing this ROM for your device. Now let's talk about the performance on a day to day usage I had a really good experience with this ROM. The app opening times and the overall performance of this ROM was quite good. And even when it comes to gaming it held up really good it could handle all the games which I played. One small flaw is that it didn't pass the safety net test which means you can't use UPI apps. Other than that the overall usage and the performance of this ROM is quite good. Let's talk about the camera. I'm not a huge fan of the default camera which comes with the ROM. So I managed to download and install the latest version of Gcam. All the features are present and it works really well. So I'll be leaving the link down in the description so check it out. Let's talk about the battery life. I got somewhere around 6 hours of screen on time with intensive usage and with light usage I could get it through a day. And even the fast charging works fine. Overall, this is a decent battery backup for a custom ROM. So now let me show you how to install this ROM to your device. For that make sure you have the files downloaded that will be the custom ROM, the Google Apps and if you want to root your device, the Magisk. Once you download all the required files, make sure you place it in your internal storage. Now boot to your recovery mode. The first thing which I would suggest you to do is to take a backup. Now go to the wipe section, tap on advanced wipe, select everything except internal storage and external storage. Once you're done with it, now go to your install section, navigate to your ROM file, tap on the ROM, tap on add more zip, now select your Google apps and swipe and the install process is going to take somewhere around 2-5 to five minutes. Now do note that if you want to root a device, I would suggest you to do it after the first boot. The first boot is going to take somewhere around 5 minutes. And if your device is not booting, head back to the recovery mode, tap on wipe, format your data. While doing this, all your data will be erased, so taking a backup is recommended. After this, your device will boot. I didn't have to do this step because my device booted in the first try. So yeah, these are the steps you need to follow to install this ROM to your device. So CR Droid ROM has got the stock and it experience at the same time it's got the customization features and even the gaming experience found in this ROM is quite good. So if you're looking for a ROM which can do everything, I would suggest you to look no further and try to install the CR Droid ROM to your device. So hope you guys liked the video. If you did, do not forget to like and subscribe. And until then, it's me Bharat signing off. Like, share, subscribe and don't forget. Peace out.